Radio Live. Radio Live and Facebook Live. Yeah. What's up, Facebook? Good morning. Hey, Facebook, check it out, man. Look who I found. <laughs> She's just wandering around outside looking to play some. She was. Somewhere. She was. Hello, Good morning. Joe. Good morning, Joe. Tom is in the studio with us guys. Lord Joe Thomas, she is making her debut on the radio. This is her first one. They're Carol. Are you in right here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
away from some of that sometimes. And we're trying to drag it back. Like I've got the I got the tail of the bus holding on to the of, of Merle driving out. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't leave Merle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do need to hang on to it for as yeah. long as we can. And and um, I have some roots in gospel too. And you know, like the old hymns that a lot of if you listen to country, a lot of it goes back to even the old hymns and it some does. tunes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just really, really basic tunes. And so I love the old gospel music too. Um, so I yeah. guess I don't want to call myself old, but I like the old music. There's nothing wrong with that. There ain't like a music. thing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, it, it, it's 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 we got her started, dude. We, uh, way I met her, I was, we got her playing out at the Cowboy <coughs> Church every once yes. in a while. Yeah, we we let her sneak in, and she'll grab a guitar and have everybody crying and carrying on and whooping and hollering. And That's been so much fun. <laughs> I love that little church. It, it's a great. Little it church. is a great little church, Myron, and those guys out there. Yeah. And those, those oh women, my gosh, they can kill he tell out. stories, Myron? Myron? Oh, he. Can Sometimes tell I just want to. Oh my goodness. But they're they may not always, make sense, but no. they no, they're perfect for like the point he's trying to make. Yeah. But dang, he can make me laugh. I'm yeah, he's, he's 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 a funny dude. I'll tell you he's what, he's a lot, he's a lot of entertainment. He is. Yeah, that's that's a great little church out there. Hey, if you're looking for a church home, y'all might as well throw it out there. And, there you and, go. And go Snake out, out there and visit anyway. Yeah, go check Glory out Road Baptist Church. He used to be church. out here. He was my youth minister when I was at the first was Baptist he? here in town. Yeah. Well, for a long time when I was younger, obviously. Wow. And I'm I'm so I'm old. That's the so Glory, you know, Glory Road Cowboy Church. Yeah, Glory Road Cowboy Church out there. That's go right. check them out, man. It's come on great out and visit. I'll tell you what, if you can't find somebody to hug your neck out there, I'll come by and I'll hug your neck. Come on, girl. That's right. And they are a hugging church. They yeah. really are. You, you love can't get, feel you love them. If you don't want to get hugged, don't come. That's I'm right. Telling you. The, if somebody go love on you. It's touchy feely time. You put a sign on your head. Get a hug and a donut. <laughs> Do not hug. That's right. Now yeah, wear a sign. Do not hug. Oh, some people can wear a sign just by the look on their face. Exactly. <laughs> that's fine. We'll just, you know, let the let the love of Jesus embrace you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We'll take that. So, so Lori Jo, been playing music for how long? Yeah. I mean, you, so you grew up wanting to be huh. country in every aspect. You know, that covered wagon. Yeah. Cowboys and Indians out in L.A. of all places. Yes. You know. So a lot when, different then. When did you fall in love? When did you start playing? When I was in the sixth grade, um, this was back when uh, grocery stores gave away little coupons, little yes. stamps. I remember yeah. those. Collect yeah. the stamps. Yeah. Green blue. stamps. Yeah. Blue chip stamps, green. So I saved six and a half books, I think, was what my first guitar. Um, wow, six and a half books, which was $17,000. Right. In, in groceries. <laughs> That's right. Spice groceries. Well, we weren't rich by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, um, we, we got along, you know, mom made all the clothes and, and it was wonderful. So I just would sit in my room and play. And actually my mom got me started playing the ukulele first. Uh -huh. And then I kind of wanted the guitar after the ukulele. Yeah. Um, that was her ukulele. So I learned all the old, um, really old timey Southern kind of music on the ukulele. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even want to say it. Cause it's I think snow, I mean, for, further than that. Further than that. Oh, wow. Like, um, I'm coming on my, but my heart is sinking low. Yeah. I hear the something, something <laughs> calling old lad Joel. Yeah. So a lot of the Negro spirituals. Yeah, I got you. And it's, there I am, you know, in sixth grade singing, you know, the spirituals and on my ukulele. That is that awesome. Is, that is awesome. I'll tell you what that that you is. You know, there's absolutely. a lineage there to be traced back to country gospel music into the into the cotton fields in the South. You back bet. in the day. You it's bet. there, it's a proven fact. And, absolutely. And, and they and they sing it out of the joy of their hearts. Oh, too. absolutely. I mean, and you know, um, Vince and I, well, we were in your store the other day and he bought a music book. Yeah. And he's flipping through the pages and it had a lot of those songs yeah. in there. He was talking to me about them and I'm like, you know, that's a great book for we have a look one of his co-workers has a daughter. She's six or seven years old, and we bought that book for her because I'm thinking that's the way I learned. Mm -hmm. That would be so, because she's learning how to play guitar, and um, so we went and delivered that book the other day. Oh, that's her. great. Oh, sharing knowledge. Man, you talk yeah. about paying it forward. Right. There you so, go. So, so you, you relocated to Texas at some point, right? You know, and I know you're not doing this full time, but what point did you decide that this was going to be a major portion of your life? I think when I got married to Vince, um, we got married, I don't know, five years ago, mm -hmm. six Man, years ago. So it was all I, his fault? It's it totally his fault. Appreciate In fact, we were talking Vince. about that on the way here. <laughs> oh, and my whose God. Idea was this? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> right? 
Um, but he's just a big music fan. He wakes up every morning. He has got a song in his mind, and he goes to YouTube and pulls it up, and it can be some really obs- – I'm like, how do you even know these That's songs? Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. I wake up with – you know, laundry list, shopping list, <laughs> right. what I got to do today, blah, blah, blah. And he's working, like, yeah. hey, honey, listen to this song. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. that's yeah. great. But yeah. it's wonderful. I know there's stuff to do. And then retrospect, like, man, that's awesome. Right? I mean, you know, that, that is awesome. So he's the one who developed, like, song lists and got me encouraged to do the songwriting. And um, I always tell him, you know, without him, I, there, I wouldn't be doing music. Right. I wouldn't. I, I played, and I played a lot in the churches when I was younger. I toured with a um, the New Kingsman when I was about 17 and then I just stopped playing because bad things happened on that tour and I just said you know I'm, one for you my heart was broken yeah I'm, I was done and then life gets in the way it does it you shows know? up quick yeah I well, got married that, had a kid yeah and, what about that old guy that snuck through here he retired from being a, a Bubba T Bubba, Bubba T was, was a lawyer for oh 50 my gosh, years a lawyer and then, years old. then he decided he's going to do his, his final Beginning opening tour or something. He, he said, "Yeah, his final farewell, first annual farewell tour." First That's annual funny. Farewell, you know, and he's he seven, he's seventy one years old. He plays your good old honky tonk country, yeah. the sing along country. Like, love it. I love Bubba T. He's got a he's yeah. got a top twenty five hit right now. Yeah, he's got he's had, he's had a top. In, oh, he's a rascal country. too. He's been see, he's been in here. He's a rascal. That seventy one year old retired lawyer. Where's where's where's, oh, where's, I love this where's guy. Bear sunglasses? I mean, he just he you just tell, the time. I have not seen his show, but you. Can tell that no matter what, no matter what he sings to you, no matter how good it is, you're gonna love every single minute of it. That's the kind of guy he is. You had him so in, cool. We had him in studio. Yeah, he, he had us rolling, man. We just like fuck. You can just tell that it's yeah. just a good time. His songs are that throwback to it's like a Hank Williams mix, Hank right. Williams Junior mix, that kind of sure. good old time, just having it's, fun and it's singing. It's kind of how it's kind of how you are when you're on stage and you're stage presence. You just out there having fun. I just don't well, think Bob T's ever gonna sing a, a love ballad. That's right. <laughs> He's never. You're pretty sure of that. He's yeah, never gonna sure have that problem. <laughs> no, no. But, no more fun. Unless he's singing, no, no. singing to a can of beer. Oh, <laughs> you know? okay. But it's a good time. But so anything Funny. is possible. When you when you're rolling forward, well, that's you know. that's true. And you know what? When when you decide that there, you don't have any more goals, and you um, then you get old. You've just always got to. In no, my I mean, mind, I'm always going to be you know twenty thirty. Um, got to be reaching forward. Yeah, all day. Have something. Have so, something you're looking forward. So you to. said you're a you're a singer. You're a songwriter. Mm-hmm. And Did we you asked you one? earlier. We put it on you. We said. What do you want to play, an original or not? You said, oh, my gosh, I don't know. You know, but I would like, that way everybody gets an idea of who you are as a, as a true artist. Not that a cover song is not, but, right. you know, to, that gets to see all the sides of uh, Lori Cho. Right. I think an original would be perfect. I think I think right. we ought to put the pressure on it. Right? Well, you yeah. are, and... Um, <laughs> That's it. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I tell? Okay, I'm gonna tell a story about this. Oh, I wrote this friend. when we lived in Fort Worth for a little bit, and I went to a songwriter group up there. And when I first did a uh, brought it to the group, they said, "Well, we like that, but you just need to get a faster horse because I was playing it like." Gotcha. Oh, I never been a cowgirl. Real slow like that. And the lady that was critiquing me goes, "Um, honey, you need a faster horse." <laughs> there you go. Oh, I've never been a cowgirl, but I wish I was. Have a ranch in junction and a horse in cuts. We'd be riding away, just as pretty as can be. When a big bell buckle, oh, and I'd wear it proudly. All right, you guys yodel. I hear every time I am. I yay, yippee ti I yay. I yay, yippee ti I yay. Well, Annie Oakley ain't got nothing on me. Okay, I'm not going to play the whole song, but it basically <laughs> goes on to say, you know, I, I've never been a cowgirl, but I've got tight jeans. I go out line dancing and so on and so forth. 
That's we awesome. We have a good time. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's that, great. That's bad. I just, Daddy, boy, I I just love you. my little yeah. cowgirl song. And you bet. I played it at a campground. I went camping a few weeks ago with some friends of mine, a couple of gals. They're wonderful plays. Um, we have a little band called Ban Joy. Vince doesn't like it because he doesn't like banjo. Banjo. And I give her such grief over her playing the banjo, but they do harmony. It's um, three part harmony. Oh, and wow. it, that song sounds great. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. Little banjo in there. Oh, and little bass. Gosh. So Liz plays bass and Stacy plays banjo and mandolin and uh, drums. And uh, we just have a good old time. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. So to the Plains. That's another that project. Yeah, that's yeah, another project. Yeah, girl outlaws out there having entirely too much fun. Oh, that's what it is. No. oh, these girls are out of control. They, they get a bunch of ladies together. At, and I saw a video of them. I didn't get to go on this one particular camping trip, but they um, all dressed up for Halloween and they had borderline maybe a rave. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. like, whoa! I'm kind of glad I didn't go to that. I did make that one kind of not my scene. Kind of not my thing. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. Yeah. Well, that, that's awesome. Well, uh, we still want to hear something, though. All right, let me you. do. Let, let's um, give a preview what to expect coming up this old, weekend. Okay, yeah, let me do an over. Oh, it's crying time. I can go constantly. I can see that far away look in your eyes. I can tell by the way you move all the time. That it won't be long before it's crying time. Oh, they say that absence makes the heart grow fonder, and the tears are only rain to make love grow. Well, my love for you could never grow no stronger if I lived to be a hundred years old. Oh, it's crying time again. You're gonna leave me. I can see that far away look in your eyes. I can tell by the way you walk and talk. That it won't be long before it's crying time. No, it won't be long before it's crying time. Man. It sounds much better with steel guitar. Marty, oh, well, but Marty, <laughs> throw some Marty out there. Man, I tell you what, what you know, it, it's what? you know, love about these old songs is is it's like what I mean when you throw it out there, you drag a minute and a half, two minutes. Yeah, you know, these, hey. you know these, and you know why? Because they had such heavy instrumental. I mean, they yeah, you know, yeah, you, you would go fiddle, on for a while. And, yeah, uh, the honky tonk piano and. And All that stuff's playing in the background, and then they stop and singing, then, and they let that play. And then exactly. You know, over again. to you, Leon. Over to you. And what's sad is that when I do uh, solo shows, uh -huh. I'm like, dang. That's the end of the song. What What, what do I do now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, Or we do, um, the, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, here's the harmonic part. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure the best needs to pick up a harmonica. <laughs> well, I think he needs no. to learn. I think he needs to learn steel. Washboard steel. Yeah, I think Vince needs to pick up a steel guitar and get after you something. You know, you don't want him to. He needs to get a steel guitar, put it on his shoulder, and play it like a violin. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you what, that'd be so. Well, I t this is not PC at all. Can can we not be PC for me? Well, you know, it has to be PC enough to be on the air. So yeah. there's that. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, I just tell Vince he's got terminal white man's disease. That's so. got that. That's PC enough to <laughs> ask. <laughs> no, you what. We got it. He too. doesn't have any real sense of rhythm at all. But boy, we got that all day long. He's got a great ear for music, though. He can tell when something is off. He, he doesn't know what it is. He'll better say that. No, it's not. So that's not right. Something just ain't working. And with that. he does all the sound. He does all the setup. He loads the trailer. I mean, he makes this stuff happen. If he doesn't show up, there's not going to be a show. It ain't going to be there. It yeah. ain't going to happen. So it's all. So basically, it's Laurie Joe and all about Vince. Right. Pretty much. They need to sing a song like that. Welcome to the well, Laurie really Joe and Vince. They need to write a song him. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there you go. That's it. It was sad when we first um, got together. You know, all the songs were about him and about our dating and, and stuff like that. And, oh, she Taylor uh, Swift, you did she? I did. I Taylor Swift did him. <laughs> And now I'm kind of out of material. Yeah. Like, we oh, need to break up no. and have a good fight. Oh, no. But <laughs> I don't see that happening. Yeah, no, right. that's I the don't problem. Say, you no, have to no, manufacture no, material. Uh, okay. Isn't I, that horrible when you're a country and your life is just too good? My I, life is too good. I'm not writing anymore. I, I can see that. It the, sucks. I can, I can see that. I can see back the house and see the mirror in his eyes. <laughs> we need to break up and have a fight. He's like, no, no. 
I ain't got the kind of energy for that. No, no. Yeah, that's no, horrible. Dad. You got your dogs are healthy, family's healthy, your house is doing good, your career is where it's at. How, what are you saying about besides other people's covers, I guess? You know, it's hard to write, like you said. It is. Maybe I'll write about the rain. Right. And like, we are so glad that it rained. You know, oh. I, I mean, my roof's been leaking, but that's okay. It's okay. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, you let it rain, I'll empty them buckets. It don't matter yeah, to me. Bring it on with it. Right. Oh, man, it's been beautiful. But, yeah, so wet. I got stuck, actually, in my company car. I have a little Freddie Flintstone company car. Nice. Yeah, sweet. Prius. I work for San Angelo Home Health, by the way. And a little plug there. Hey, that's all right. But uh, we have Nissan, little Nissan Versa, and uh -huh. we live on a on a pretty muddy, soupy road. And, yeah, I got Ooh. stuck. Yesterday. I'm pretty sure Bowser Home Health has that same car. I think that must be a Home Health car. I'm telling you what, they're, they're neat little cars. Well, they get around, and I mean, you know, it's all about covering a lot of ground with the very little, you know, they get, I don't know, 75 miles a gallon. Yeah, something, something like something that. Ridiculous. They can't go over 55, but you know. <laughs> of course, my feet, you know, Scooby-Doo, my feet are pedaling. So that's probably why it gets such a I'll tell you what, why don't we let her leave us with a song? Okay. Dude, if she was let's just right. rock and roll some night. Oh. Well, this is a rock and roll. Now, do the thing. That was a DJ fan of a, a bad a, segue. Into, oh, one of your country songs. Okay. So, okay. so how about we waltz, waltz ourselves out of here? We could waltz on out of here. I was waltzing in the old country town. Oh, yeah. 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 Introduced her to my loved one. While we were walking, my friends told me my sweet love for me. I remember that night and the tunnel of sea walls. Now I know just how much I have lost. Yes, I lost my little heart. Night you are the beautiful tender sea The beautiful tender sea Nice Man, dancing, I mean, guys. Right, I mean, get out there, there are two things that, plum off that yeah. door. There are a couple things God gave me. One is ability to never shut up, and, and, and two is uh, <laughs> I can dance a little bit. Two step walls. Hey, two, if two you step can two step walls, that's awesome. That's what I told my wife first time we really dance. I said, "Listen, listen, I need to tell you something." I said, "I don't want to dance to you too much because you're about to fall in love." So, oh, what a great life! You know what's funny is it actually worked. You know, I love that. <laughs> it ain't supposed to work, but it did. It did. I'm oh. pretty sure she was invested before that. You know, wow. saying. So no, but uh, thank you so much. You know, Lord Joe, well, coming well, out, hanging out. Please, for, please come back. You know, I sure let will. everybody know what's going on in, 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 right now with uh, the sweet okay. and everything. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, okay, so we're playing tonight at the hall in Rowena and then uh, the next time you can see us will be um, at the Concho Palace which is the old midnight rodeo in San Angelo we're playing there on the 30th and that's kind of a late show that starts at 9 the one tonight we actually start at 7 awesome so that's, that's there at 7 o'clock guys yeah that's it and I'll tell you that you know this is if you, if you didn't hear much of it you better get your boots on get your feet massaged get comfortable because you're going to be dancing <laughs> That's, That's right. true. We do keep the people on the this dance floor. We this don't is take a, breaks. We no, just this, we play. I can just tell you about her vibe and the way things go. That's this it. is a dick country, it's, country, country. It's all over them old, them old dancing boots are going to be smoking tonight. That's, yeah, that's right. a country, country that's dance right. band. Get out there. Check them out. They'll be at the hall, 7 o'clock in Rowena. Yes. It's going to be Lori Joe and the Heroes of the Honky Tonk hanging out. Thank you, Jeff, for having me. I, and I'll tell you what, you got a nice studio here. This Thank is you. really, really nice. 78. Talk about original country. 71 years old. Wow. Started out in 1947. That'd be 72 come August. Man. There we yeah, go. I don't look, it doesn't look a day over 60. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me. That's what it was updated. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Lori Joe, thanks again. Vince. Appreciate you, man. Good Appreciate you, you, buddy. Sir. Thanks for having me. It's 845. We're a little behind. We'll get you guys caught up. Have some first news in the Agriplex, followed by Hotline, and we will see you in the 9 o'clock hour after some ag news and weather. Bye, y'all. How oh. fun is that? Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. I missed the play button. Were you stressed?
No, you're good. I mean, we're still we're still live, so just be aware of that. Yeah, we're we're still live on Facebook, so we're good. Okay, hey, hi. You can be a little less. That's fun. Yeah, you don't have to worry about being as PC on Facebook because yeah. we're pretty non. But that was, but the white man syndrome issue, that, that's us all day. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that all day. We're equal yeah. opportunity, you know, when it comes to that kind well, of stuff. I so. think it's really sad that we could have to think about that kind of stuff nowadays. Thank you. You shouldn't have I, to. I really do because, and you know, what, the whole, is, you know, like the old black Joe. Yeah. In the back of my mind, I thought, oh, I shouldn't say that. But that's that's what I was singing, and that's what I grew Well, you know what's funny about it is K Texas yesterday. Put a thing on their deal where it said black coffee drinkers tend to be a little more aggressive if they don't get their coffee. It was a study. Like, well, it was funny to me because it said black coffee drinkers. They mean people who drink their coffee black. And I was like, oh man, how many people are gonna make this joke? And I was waiting. I figured the joke already passed. I was getting. I got my phone out. I was like, you know, nobody made the joke. Seventy comments. Uh, not a single person made the joke. And I, so I did. I said, so does that mean white coffee make white coffee drinkers are, are normal? You know, and a couple people laughed at it. Nobody got mad. I'm just saying, though, why can't we have that joke anymore? I know. It's sad. That, that, that's making fun of everybody. It doesn't matter. No matter who you are. I can't believe they put the headline up. That was funny. Nobody pre proofed that, thinking that, that somebody might make, you know, black coffee drinkers. Well, white coffee drinkers, they're they're pretty crazy, <laughs> you know? There we go. So, somebody calling. It's all right. I'm going to get Just give it a second. Gary and this Jeff. Yes, man. I'll tell you what. We got. We ran a little behind. I got about. A, I got about two minutes. If you want to wait and call back, we'll get you on. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. You got a calling show too? Yeah, we have a hotline show. Oh, we got a buy sell trade trade deal giveaway. What? We're throwback AM radio. You don't. You don't what? get any radio station like this. This, this, this is this is more fun. You can say great. So I tell you what. I talked to an old boy the other day. Been in radio since 1960. And I, I tell you what. I don't care what anybody else in this world tells me at this point. He told us. He said, what we're doing here, we're doing it right. With Doesn't our, that with, make with you our, feel good? With our format, with the way we do the news, with the way we do the radio, our morning show. Because radio is going to the jack. If you got to realize, it's going to the jack format or the Hank format, whatever yeah. it is nowadays, yeah. where they play nothing. But it's like, it's essentially, mm -hmm. FM radio a lot of times is just satellite radio with yeah. commercials every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's like satellite radio, no commercials. A FM radio nowadays, satellite radio. Two commercials an hour, you know, or something, and yeah, which is fine. And nothing wrong with that because I was any personality. But there's zero personality. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we don't do personality outside. No, of we, don't, we don't. We don't. We don't let personality influence us <laughs> yeah. at all. We don't let that personality bug uh, us. By the way, <laughs> I got my Remington hat on the guns out there in the truck on the side of my scooter. <laughs> Did you, is that your scooter out there? 30, 30, yeah, crazy 30. person was riding that thing. He's out there. Yeah, he's out there herding cats. Ooh, did you have your leathers on? Yeah. On your legs? No. Whew. That was a bad mistake. I used to get so cold. Yeah. You ride too? I, I rode for years and years. Yeah, I still do. The My book first, of, uh, of Lori just, just the chapter, next chapter, I'm next chapter. You. The previous chapter, second chapter. Is she really? Here we go. Is she Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to talk. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, no, I'm not trying to steal her. Not on Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. There are, there are sponsors. We are recruiting. Right. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. They'd never mind. Ballinger Health, great company. They'd kill us if, if, if we stole Jekka. Oh. Yeah. Well, she, we worked. We both worked at Shannon for a while. She was uh, over there. She was a clinical supervisor over there, and they just kept doing what Shannon does. And If you're from Shannon, I apologize, but I worked there. I look behind the curtain. I know what's going on there. Right. And uh, she became management there. No longer was more patient care, and she just couldn't didn't like it. So we we she came back here. You know? mm -hmm. So I worked there under the director and was probably was project management for construction. Oh you know? wow! So, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So and yeah. they're always constructing. Something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was very busy. Yeah, but sure. hey, man. You know, you know what they say, radio came a calling when you have no reason to I do love radio. That. And, you, and you're perfect at it. <laughs> yes. if you've got it. Well, this is my first time I've ever done radio. I've, I've been doing it now for a year and oh, there she four is. months. She's going to sell something. Yeah, here it is. Y'all hang out for a second. Feel free. You ain't got to go anywhere if you don't want to. Oh, my God. Kill drug hotline. You're on the air. Twelve oh three North Tenth. All right. All right. It's a garage what you, sale. What you got at the garage sale? What size shoes? There you go. Need some shoes, Lindy? Well, no, no. A lot of times, women like to know what size shoes they have because then 
them sevens or eights, eights and a half, you know, them gals know, yeah, <laughs> size 29s, I mean, you know, somebody, you know, you never know. All right, I would, uh, so that's that 1203 North 10th, it's going to be today and tomorrow, did you say till 5? All right, and then 8 to noon tomorrow. Again, that's going to be at 1203 North 10th, you got latest clothes, you got shoes, what are the big ticket items you got out there? Right. Okay. All right. Cool. The, the table. What are those things called? Phone down TV trays. TV trays. Yeah. There you go. All right. Awesome. Very cool. Once again, y'all, it's 3 North 10th today from 8 to 5, tomorrow from 8 to 12. Ladies' clothes, shoes. She's got TV Mis trays. Miscellaneous items. Miscellaneous items. Bet. Thank you for calling, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, y'all. Right, it is Hotline brought to you by Kill Drug, your local hometown pharmacy located at the 2001 Hutchins here in Ballinger. This is for all your items buy, sell, trade, wanted, giveaway, lost, found, can't that's find. It. That's you it. Know, if you, it. Especially if you want something. Yeah. A lot of people go, man, I sure wish I had an old something or other. Yeah. And, and, you know, there may be somebody out there with a something Maybe, maybe something somebody's or looking for a harmonica and, and, a, and somebody like Vince is trying to sell his because he's done trying to learn it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Do it. Exactly. So give us a call, y'all, 325-365-5500. Wow. And it keeps Good it. morning. You're on Kill Drug Hotline. Okay. 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 Okay, man, that might be a good. That might be a good place. That might be a good place for to for those anybody to go to help out the family up in. Uh, when the house burned down, the Clements family. The Clements family. Where are you guys located at? All right, 1606 North 8th Street, yard sale today from 8 to 5. It's already going on, y'all. Get out there white can because you know they hit them hard. They hit them fast in Ballinger. That's right. And then on Saturday, <laughs> yeah, on Saturday, 8 to whenever. What's that? Reasonable prices, y'all. 1606 North 8th, going on right now, going on Saturday. All kinds of stuff for sale. Appreciate you calling. Thank you. All right, Bill. Wow, two in a row. I know. That's, that's an oddity. How y'all doing this morning on Facebook, by the way? Finally, we've got, got to catch up with you guys. Hope Happy you, Friday, Hope you Don. enjoyed the show. This was the show. The show. The show. Well, the I show. tell you, I, I the love, show. love, love that music, and that's like some of the best music to dance to. Yeah, you know. It is. And I mean, yeah. go out there and burn up the dance floor. There we go. Can. We're back on again. Good morning, y'all. Kill Drug Hotline. Hold on. There we go. Answer the phone, Jeff. Good morning. You're on Kill Drug Hotline. That's it. Well, for true in winters there. You bet. That's right. It's for sale. So you, you can buy everything and the house, but you have to move the house now, with it. Somebody, somebody ought to run over there, buy the house. Get you a 12-foot trailer. Buy, you buy, need it. buy everything, buy everything in the house and and get a dozer and go over there and clean them folks out. Like place to be a boss? I'd love to have all the money in the whole entire world. I go buy them folks at house burn down that house and move it right over. Wouldn't you like to be a boss and walk in there at the checkbook and go, just box it up. That box yeah. it up. At the trailer We're coming next it. week. We've got We're this. All right. Again, y'all, that is for the First Baptist Church. That's happening at 104 Truett in Winters. It's going on until 5 today and then from 8 o'clock to whenever everything is gone, including the house on Saturday. That's it. Thank, thank you so you. much. We appreciate you. Well, Joe, thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, was it, was it, what, did you feel relaxed at your first radio? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very much so. Thank oh, you. Oh, Nathan Lane, you just joined in. You missed it. Nathan, you missed the, you missed the preview of Miss uh, Lori Joe. She's That's it. Know, he's, he's, I'm sure he's the one who talked to it. Too, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. met him last week. We yeah. actually went and hung out there for a little bit. Yep. Yeah. How are you doing? 
Yeah, yeah. So she was out here, man, and, and entertain, entertaining. Boy, I tell you, we love live music. You That's know? it. That's it. There was another lady that said hello to you, specifically to you. Her name is Terry Holland. Oh, yeah, that's my manager. Okay. Oh, yeah. see, there you go. And, uh, wait, wait. Music manager or work manager? Terry, Terry Holland music. says, hey, Lord Joe, Thomas, you got this. Oh. Good morning, you're on Kill Drug Holland. Okay. And winners. All right. 203 Paloma. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, good deal. A lot of small hand tools going cheap prices. What else you got going on up there at 203 Paloma? Okay. A little bit of everything. And close. A and little close. bit of everything. All right. It's going to be going on today. It will be going on tomorrow as well. Right. All righty. Well, all right. Get out there, everybody. It's in Winters. It's at 203 Paloma. It's going on today. They got lots of little hand tools, Christmas items, DVDs, lots of clothes, a lot of stuff happening. Again, that's in Winters at 203 Paloma. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, so we have a lot of equipment we need to sell. Do you? Uh, we'll have to call in. Uh, well, you know what you can do if you want to talk about it, right? If you got your stuff, we'll talk about it. Throw it on there. Well, sure. And, and get, get behind the line. But you know what they are, honey. You you should do the talking because. Sure. Okay, you can flip. We're gonna let Vince talk. Okay, That's let me get out of here. I'll get to the pictures and then we'll talk. Busy. <laughs> We're cooking this. Okay, start here. Good morning, Rocky Drive Hotline. Hey, hey, hey there's one. the lady in winners. 903 Manning. 901 Manning. 901 Manning. I just moved you over a house or two. Just moved you over. If you go to 903, I guarantee you, you'll see what's going on at 901. That's right. Head over there. All right, go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> yep. All right. How are you going to bargain from a quarter? Man, don't be bargaining for a quarter. Throw the lay of twenty lady a twenty dollar bill and fill it up. <laughs> Thank you so much for having those quarter garage sales today and tomorrow. So it'll be Friday and Saturday, and it's quarter prices on a lot of stuff. And you're willing to negotiate, get out there and buy them out. That's right. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll talk thank to you, you soon. That's all right. In the morning, but yeah, see, we've got a we've got a mixing board we're trying to get rid of. Um, oh, oh got, yeah. Uh, amp. Yeah, you want to take a look at it? Our <laughs> mixing board. How hey, much do you want for hey, the mixing hey, board? Jeff, hey. I know what I'm saying. I need a mixing board. Oh, we. Good morning, morning. you're on Kill Drug. Hi, I'm sure you want to turn here. He's probably got everything you need. Okay. Okay. All righty. A uh, set of four tires, 275, 55, 20s. You got a hot, medium, or sweet chow chow, and you got an electric meat grinder for sale. 442-3902. Ah, thank you, sir. Appreciate you. That's it, y'all. Yeah, you know what? Y'all need to get out there. If you guys, if you guys have not checked her out, it was a great little interview. She's really fun. Um, man, I tell you, I, I'd love to have her for thirty minutes and just do like a singer songwriter sit down. Listen to her. I, I, I get a little bit of like a a Red Steagall feel from her, where we'll sit and strum and play and just kind of talk about life. You know, so that's pretty neat. Um, but there we go. Appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in. Hope Get out to the hall tonight. She starts at 7 o'clock, y'all. 
get out there, enjoy it. Again, you better massage those feet, wear double socks, whatever you got to do because she, I can tell you about the music she plays, you're going to be dancing just a, just a little bit, you know. Well, no problem, Marie Watts. You know, that's awesome. I'm glad we could help out just a little bit. Y'all see Landy dancing in the back? Look at him. He's telling a story. Can't y'all tell? He gets a little animated. That's funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, y'all, let's see here. Sorry, we'll be a little quiet here. I got to pro. Usually, I let Landy talk while I try to program in some of the morning here. So, what's going on, everybody's weekend? Any big plans happening? Man, football, 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 y'all. Let's check out. Uh, Miles Ballinger, Paint, uh, uh, Paint Rocks playing. Uh, winners. Miles Ballinger, winners in the playoffs. Already set, already done. They're still playing for seeding and they're still playing for momentum. So, you need to go out there and support your local team. This is winner's last game of the season. They've got a bye week at the end of the year, so they're going to be able to get a little bit of a head start on their playoff run. But Ballinger's got to go knock out Coleman. Um, you know, Miles is going to go knock out Cristobal. And I'm going to tell you, Cristobal is not an easy team. You know, and they need to go out there and keep that momentum rolling and just have a good time with it. So, uh, guys, get out there, support the heck out of them, you know, whatever your team might be, and just, just you know, promote the heck out of them. <laughs> It is deer season, Jason. I forgot. Yeah, I surprised your little girl didn't pull in one of those deers during year. One of those deers, one of those uh, deer during youth hunting season. You know, she's only what eight and a half months old, a year old, a little over a year old. So you know, I, I talk to these parents all the time. Go, my eight month old pulled in this twelve point buck last week during youth gun season. <laughs> you know. Oh hey, Vince, where's Miss Thomas, right? Oh, Bedner, actually. Bedner? We just didn't change her last name. Yeah. <laughs> I just recognize you, man. I feel like I, I, I met you somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. Though. I was out in the Yola for years and years. Oh, uh, no, I probably wasn't. Yeah. Do you work? Uh, where do you What do you work now? Do you work now? Yeah, I work for Chain Electric. I'm out in the middle of pastures now, so yeah, uh, nobody sees me. Nobody sees you. Yeah, you know, they're having a party in the other room. I, I, I can't. I got to be stuck here doing my thing. Yeah, we looked at, we're, we're thinking about a mixing board. Yeah, here you go. And, and if you're interested, I'll donate it to you. 16 channel mixing board built in effects. Oh, heck yeah, I'm interested. That's awesome. Oh, okay. And I what amplifier to go with it. Yeah. Probably all y'all need for in there. Oh, yeah? I'll do it. All right. I got all the built-in effects. Awesome. I'll, I'll load it up and send it back over with Lori Jo whenever she comes over and she lands. Again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That'll work, brother, man. Thank you, guys. Nicole Reed, how you doing? Guys, we have a house full today. Yeah, lots of folks everywhere. Okay, we're going to go have some breakfast in a yeah. store. Lori Joe, where are you heading? Where are you heading? We're going to go to breakfast and then we're going to go to a shop. Where at? Where I don't breakfast? know. Oh, tell me. Well, what do you want? What do you feel like eating? What? If, if I get a picture of a breakfast sandwich again with no <laughs> breakfast sandwich being brought to me, ma'am. I want bacon and eggs. I have you a breakfast you want, you want bacon? You want, yeah, I get, go to Beef Master. Beef Master. We know your, where that is, right, baby? Yeah, go to Big Mash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's what he said. Thank okay. you yes. so much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right yes. Oh, well, Down I'm the so road. Just meeting yeah. you. It's and a small and I'll see you can buy this. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're welcome back anytime. No, you're welcome back. Thanks, thanks, buddy. It's been a blast. We can. We can. Well, no, I want to do it. The Bring idea the girls is, next is, time. is to niche everything. You know, get as much of a niche as you can. You know, and make that little radio station in Ballinger, Texas, where they produce music there too every once in a while. So maybe want to just make it fun to come out here. Just make it fun. Yeah, you know, and, and throw some tracks down and have a good time. Like, oh yeah, we recorded out there. Oh, Carrie, yeah, Ballinger. Remember you know? when we sang in the can? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye, honey. Bye. Thank I'll you so much. You good luck tonight. That's my little treatment over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
We're going to go to Beefmasters. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's all right. Treatment. That's all right. I said treatment. That's all right. It's and right. uh, did you want us to bring you some breakfast? No, ma'am. No, he's teasing. He's, 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 he's I don't ever eat job. breakfast. I just don't like when people rub it in my face. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. I invited. Yeah, she did. She did. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Good, <laughs> good luck tonight. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Bye, y'all. See you in a little bit. Have you see? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Deborah Hurt. How you doing, ma'am? Good morning, Deborah. How are you? What you doing? You got something going on? <laughs> what don't I have going on? And you got some rest. Are you rested up? No, I am still recovering. We're still in the area. So. Still in the area. Still in the area. Now we're getting ready to take a break here for some of Fredericksburg. That's right. You guys are already heading up yeah. Fredericksburg. Hope to. Yes, Hope to. Let's go so Stuff. Stuff. Yeah. So. Stuff. Well, we do have Miss Suzanne Torres in studio. Good She's going to hang out with us, talk to us a little bit, give us an idea of what's, you know, what went down. We talked about it yesterday a little bit. Why is this freezing up? There we go. Why is this doing one stuff? Did you mention breakfast? Apparently. Or some low red something, right? Huh. Now what are we doing? I don't know. Are we doing anything important? I don't know, actually. It's on the like dash. On the Thanks. Wow, I just dropped everything I highlighted there. Ooh. You better put it back. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Your headphones were laying on the back. On the shift. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Select Good all. news is, didn't know I could select all from here and drag it over there because I tried, I tried that before and it didn't work. But yeah, cool. You needed your headphones to do that. I know, I needed my headphones to, to do all that nonsense. It's magic. Was I think it was acting. Great. I think the Halloween, all the feedback that I've gotten from that has been absolutely positive. Oh, good. That's oh, the key. Good. We talked about that I'm yesterday. Glad. Was everything that I have grabbed up from everywhere has been positive. from anybody? Wonderful, from positive. anybody. And you know what they say: positive news in the news is, it is news. news. It <laughs> is. You know, it's the best on. news. Positive I mean, news in the news is the news. Yeah, yeah. It is. period. It's, it's what negative sure. news is like restroom restroom news. Restroom news. Yeah, yeah it's you so, so much from news in there. <laughs> Use and dispose of. Use and dispose. <laughs> so uh, don't hold on to it. <laughs> yeah. Don't be, no, I was like, don't, be, don't be a collector. Don't be, don't be a collector. Don't yeah, be a collector. Yeah, yeah, no. don't, be a, don't be a collector at all. No, 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 no. Great. Yes, please. Oh, man. Thank you. You're so kind of giving me stuff back. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that way quite that quick, do you? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> all right. We got Fred and uh, Yeah, a little while. Yes, yeah, so you guys. You can yuck him when he's the restroom real quick. It's, it's crazy. I'll yeah. probably get some water. Hold on, I'm sorry. Apparently, I need to hydrate. So, I'll feed them all. What's going on out there? Hey, so we got deer season happening. We got Lori Joe out at the hall. What else is going on this weekend? Hey, Ballard hey, Youth Sports the, Association we the, tournaments. We got the Hunters Festival. Uh, That's right, Hunters Dinner. I got to pee. We can talk about that when we get on air. That'll work. Here are you and this Jeff. He's got a bunch of, he's got a bunch of what? I'm sorry. He's got a bunch of what? <sighs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay, and he's he's just trying he's trying to just give him one. No. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you. Can you? Uh... Send Martha the link. She says she can't find Carrie Wynn's life. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, what, what you would need to do wow, is um, yeah. when we have the hotline like more you can call right? in and, and kind of break it all down a little bit and, and put it out there that, that somebody's giving that stuff away. I mean, if you can't find that's us on here, that's option for right there. Jesus. Not that you ever really wanted to find us. Oh, she and that's a good guys. thing. That's a good thing. Well, I tell you what, if it, if, if it, hey, it, well, I'll tell you, if it's if it's usable donations other than just antiques, 
that I know that family out there in North Wingate, they, they lost everything in their home. So they that did. might be a good option for you. Yeah, the Clements family. Contact run, bank you, and you, go, go ahead and run by Security State Bank there in Winters. They probably have more information for you who you can contact. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, sir. That sounds great. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Go, Jeff. Go, Jeff. Go, Jeff. I was going to say, you haven't gone yet, but go. Go, Jeff. Go, yeah, Jeff. Go, go, Jeff. Jeff. go, 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 Jeff. <laughs> her iPad, Do what? Cory Joe forgot her book in her iPad. Oh no! She, no! Her, I would just text her. Don't worry, I got to jump for you. That way she ain't panicking. Right now, she's not freaking. Yeah. Right. Poor girl. I got Lori Joe's number. Okay. She sounded really good. That girl's son. Man, is she from here? She actually from, lives in San Angelo. She was born in L.A. Oh, wow. She grew up in L.A. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> she's, she's, she's. She's so much of a hoot. I mean, uh, the lady is, she's so entertaining. And when she, she comes out to Cowboy Church and sings. Oh, is that right? Wow, yeah. she has a nice voice. Oh, she does. I like listening to her on the radio. I was surprised when oh my, oh uh, y'all sent the link and said, hey, you know, uh, sharing the, the live feed, we uh, keyed in and she was already singing. I was like, this is great. Yeah. Yeah, it's old school stuff. Man. Right, like, it is. Yeah, it is. And it's, and it's good old hometown country. I was yeah. saying earlier on the, Facebook Live, we guys are in there. I can see you showing everybody. I, 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 you can see everybody, everybody can see you doing the showing them where the walls are going to be. And stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've got a door, by the way. Yeah. Man. So we already got, so we got sound equipment. We, uh, you're going to donate sound equipment. That is amazing. We're going to donate a mixing board. And, and an amp. And, you're, you're, you're talking, and an amp. You're talking. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Tinker Toys. Yeah. So I was telling I was like, she had, I, I would love to sit down for her like, like for 30 minutes and have like, she has that, that Red Steagall vibe of kind of strumming the guitar, telling a story a little bit. And then, and She'll do it. Then jump into dude. the story. She'll you know? do it, dude. That, do like that a, lady is awesome. She can do like a spoken word album or something like that where you tell a story and then kind of just strum you something and sing you a song about, about it, you know. Because she's talking about, well, because you can tell that she's in the, in the intelligence sense, in the musical intelligence sense, she, she her her goes back to the like gospel. Said, the, the gospel oh, side gospel right? song. and if she were to back that up with with actual historical facts saying you know and then this is it'd be a great little program I think. i'm telling you yeah good morning christy gets good morning good christy. morning beverly wildes what's up okay girl? that's my girl right beverly there Wild. beverly Wild. Wilds. yes in texas it's wildes yeah right. the, oh, <laughs> you know, where's she from what is it yano lano i got it uh but anyway yeah, my know, girl she is casa she grande is. casa grande <laughs> <laughs> I said Burnett. They said no, it's Burnett. Burnett. No, it's, I thought it's Burnett. Well, Burnett. It's Burnett. All right, so okay. What's it called when you're in? What's it called when you're in? We got you back, bro. We're gonna move you up on the prayer list. That's Bexar County. That's what I thought. Bexar. So, that's Bear County. Bear County. Like, Wait a minute. Where's Bear County? What is Bear County? I'm looking for Bear. Google Bear County. Bear County. Where's the Bear County? Because no, it's it's B E X A R. What is it? Well, here's this one. Head head down towards Talpa from here. Yeah. What's that first little town you come to that doesn't exist anymore? There's a green sign that's still there. How do you uh, pronounce that? There used to be a truck stop, rest stop out, oh, there out there. Rest stop there. What is the name of that town? I know what it is. I'm just asking, you know, you don't mean how no, to pronounce it. No, say it. Say it and let spell her spell it. it. No, no spell say it and let her spell it. Benoit. Oh, B-E-N-O-I-T? Yeah. Like Benoit? Yeah. Benoit. Yeah. Benoit. 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 Oh, I thought it was Benoit. Benoit. What the hell's Benoit? <laughs> before, you get, before you get to Talpa, that's a bean oil. Talking about bean oil. That's what I'm saying. This thing, this thing, this thing, Louisiana. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So it's I'll wild, tell you what, you, you, ought to, you, you ought to try. If you think wild. you want to try something, get on Interstate 10, roll off into Houston, and to go to the uh, go to the convention center, you get a, have to get off on Chapatula. 
Chapatula? Chap Chap Try spelling that out. Yeah. It's like P H A T. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. R W X Y and Z. That's how I say it, N O R Z something. And I was like, what was that? And they said, that Chapatula, can't you read? I said, whoa. That was the exit. Was it? Yeah. You know, it's people get Kirk and Doll. Yeah. You know, Kirk and. Kirk Kukendall's Kirk yeah. Kirkendall. Kirkendall. There's no one over there too that's real weird over Angelo. But either way, Chad Byrne was one of them. Have you Chad Byrne? Chad Byrne. Chad Byrne. Chad Byrne. Chad Byrne. Chad Byrne. I said, wait a minute. Well, you know, know it's all good. How you read it's it? Tex Mex French. Yeah, how about Bollinger? <laughs> how about Bollinger? Yeah. Bollinger. Well, you know what? On Google, Bollinger. that's exactly what it says. Welcome to Bollinger, Texas. Yes. Turn left on where is it now? San Antonio GPS. Turn left on Alamo. Yeah. <laughs> you mean yeah. Alamo? Alamo. <laughs> Turn left on Alamo. Alamo. <laughs> but when they say it in an accent, it sounds better. Yeah, uh, yeah. My my Siri is, is is Australian, and my wife is looking at me like, really? <laughs> what? I like to change it up a little bit. You know? I like the little girl. I'm like so the, jealous. You better learn I like Australian. The little girl talk. <laughs> yes. Oh, you done done it now. That's what I wanted. I wanted to have one of those attitudes like, stupid. You knew you were supposed to turn there. Yeah. That's a little girl. <laughs> All right, welcome back, y'all. It is nine sixteen in the a.m. Boy, I tell you what, it's a fired up Friday. We're just rolling right through. We got Lori Joe Thomas in studio. That was killing it. And, and man, what nice. a throwback to a country sound that you don't hear very often. Come out of <laughs> That's right. You know, there's a handful of Texas artists who do it. You know, and she's she throws it out there. That's who she is, and just a phenomenal person. Yep. You know, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not being a little biased, but you know, she's a nurse, so that's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. There's that, yeah. you know, but yeah. then she does she can, this she as can, well. She can uh, med medically treat your sound, sounditis. I got, I got, I got a sounditis pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's a cure for <laughs> yeah. tone deaf. Yeah, <laughs> that's tone what it is. Yeah, there's no cure for Whoops. tone deafness. Whoops, but then. It is fantastic, but I tell you what, I have, when I, I know a dancing song, when I hear it, that's right. Yeah, I tell you that, 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 that it was it was good stuff. So we're hanging out. Like I said it's nine seventeen. It's heading into a beautiful weekend, y'all. Uh, it's 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 about sixty degrees, heading up to about seventy three for your high today. That's going to continue on in tomorrow. Just going to be beautiful, man. Beautiful. If you can't enjoy this weekend, there's right. something wrong. Hanging out with Jeff and Landy and Sue's the team. <laughs> oh my gosh! There we go. We gave her a name. We named her. Now she's gonna stay. You <laughs> can't name her because if you name her, she's never gonna go away. I know. Well, man, I, still I told you about that, Jim. I just had better, yeah. yeah. But you well, know, don't give her no groceries, man. man. But we are. We're hanging out with Miss uh, Suzanne Torres Good here, morning, uh, representing the Ballinger Area Chamber of Commerce. She wanted to come on and actually just vocalize a thank you to everybody who chimed in, helped out, put an effort in, showed up. You know, out there to right. the event that just happened this this last Wednesday on Halloween, and we need to save on this side looking in. Man, it was a phenomenal event. That's right. It, it, it was it was something that Ballinger needed in the worst way, and I think yeah. it's you know for the community to come together in a positive manner and put this thing and blow it out of the water like they did. That's right. And this is on Ballinger as a uh, as a whole. So That's I'm just right. Saying, I know Suzanne the first one to say that. Okay. Yeah, know, it was. Girl. It was fantastic. Uh, when it when we first. Uh, approach this idea we pitched it to the city council we weren't sure how it was going to be received they said yeah go ahead and have a great time so a shout out to them on approval and uh, supporting us and of course all the chamber members and then once we got on we you know partnered up with you guys and you guys were so wonderful <laughs> in helping us get we on tried. board I mean it was great it was just great and you know as it started to pick up momentum I was getting a little worried because mother nature said you know here's a monkey wrench and we went yeah we got a plan B so right. we're not gonna let this thing stop us and when we moved it from in, from the city park we moved it into the community center. You know, logistically, we thought, oh, we, what, ah, this is tough. Maybe it's going to be a little tough, but we set that up in about 20 hours. Wow. It took quite a bit of, uh, you know, handle, every bit, of, every hours. bit <laughs> of it. And everybody from Tammy, Tito over at the uh, sheriff's office. Right. Um, I don't know if y'all saw the jail section there, but oh my gosh, he they was did fantastic. phenomenal. The dispatchers were phenomenal. Uh, all the trunkers that came out, the churches that came out, you know, everybody just rolled up their sleeves. And I don't know if you know this, but we had about 20 officially sign up. And I think like seven or eight, nine, ten more showed up. And said, come on. And said, come on. We're like, okay, let's go. We did we'll not work. hesitate. Right. We'll make it work. Steve Gray you and, bet. you know, Chad Harding had that blue dragon out in front welcoming everybody. You Thank you all for doing that. 
That was a great way to introduce what was getting ready to happen indoors. Uh, you know, we had the chief of police, you know, Stan Marish out there mm -hmm. guarding everybody, you know, making sure everything was rocking. We had the PD table out there. Yep. I mean, everybody's rocking. You guys all had your was it body parts with the ring? It was called that was awesome. called dead. I didn't have nothing to do with that. I didn't have nothing to do with that. Jeff actually went out to the graveyard. I want to say I dug him up. There may be a mom bump somewhere. He had a little trouble getting around. He donated it. It's fine. No, it was it was it, it's awesome. It was our pleasure. We haven't had the opportunity last year. We um we were new er. And right. so when we were invited out, we're like, hey, yeah, we just right. got to take it. This year allowed us the opportunity to plan a little bit more. Right. And that was our timing, not anybody else's, right. you know, and it was so like, I think we're actually going to do this. Right. You know, absolutely. Awesome. Walmart sponsored candy, you know, lots of people rolled up. And I think the one thing, and I, I remember talking to Tammy about this, we tell them, you know, be prepared for about a thousand kids. Right. And but y'all weren't, weren't prepared for we like 20,000. No, we, we <laughs> didn't expect about, you know, I, I would say, Rough estimate, probably about fifteen hundred people went through that that place. Fifteen hundred, easy. And easy uh, right. uh, yeah, I got I got a chance to talk to you. Conservative, I think. Conserv I think it's conservative. Yeah, uh, it was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you, yeah. I told her before. I said it yesterday. We didn't slow down. Lady, no. lady, lady showed up about eight fifteen or so to help. I drove by. I drove by up. earlier and got scared and left. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? There were so many of them little monsters around there. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, he went and grabbed the Bible and they hid in the house for an hour. Right. Right. It's, it's, right. The, the end times are coming. Right. No, we we, uh, we cleaned up and I, I got to look around. I, I felt the lights come on or I saw the lights come on and I was like. Oh, it's over. Yeah, it's over. and that's when yeah. we, that is when we slowed down, right? Because we had people lined up, and we were rolling around, and I was swinging a hatchet at small children, and it was a, just a great <laughs> time. You know? yeah. People came out people. early, I think, for one, because they were curious, because mm -hmm. it wasn't the the traditional down to the Eighth Street. Um, we saw last year that we had just seriously outgrew it, and for the safety of the children, like we said before, right. safety of the children, and for everybody else involved, we wanted to make sure that they had room to run right. around well they ran around it's just that we weren't sure how the flow was going to go you know because the way we had designed it and uh i think it was bill hancock from the register he mm -hmm. just happened to be standing next to me and he meant you go man i was coming around the corner and i saw this line i thought man people are gonna leave right because it's gonna take too long to get they in but leave. you guys had the flow going through yes they, very yeah. smoothly yeah. So it, 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 it looked like somebody was selling tacos inside right. the line was wrapped around it was it yeah. was <laughs> it was or burritos i mean who yeah. we, they, we had some stuff in there, well so. yeah we had all kinds of and you know what, what's uh, what's crazy about it is you know again like i said we didn't slow down i mean if you can't you can't yell and scream and scare small children in Halloween, then what's the fun? Okay, now, Fred was in the electric room. If y'all got a chance to I go did, in there. I did get to go in that room. Oh, my gosh. He was the one that stood there static, so they thought he was an animatronic. Yeah. And then when he moved forward. Well, if you met Fred, he's a little he, bit animatronic. There you go. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he scared a lot of people, and it I was bet. so much fun because I heard it from so I was kind of monitoring the whole field, and then I hear the screaming coming out of the I've room. Heard, I heard it too. Yeah, and he said that he didn't scare anybody. And then anybody. I put on my costume. You know how you scare them nowadays? Because I couldn't scare the teenagers. I looked at my wife and said, you know what I'm fixing them to do? I'm fixing them to get my paycheck stub and fixing them to get my mortgage and show it to them. <laughs> that, that, that would scare you. That would scare you, buddy. You want to be, you, you don't want to hold on to be the child. Because right? <laughs> that will scare you right there. You yeah, know? that was definitely, we're keeping that. We already talked about it. That is an area That's awesome. we're going to keep and we're going to beef it up. Uh, my sons came out to help out. Yeah, you had all kinds of ringers. You had, yeah. Mark, you had Arizona folk. Mark movement. came out. You know, he played the tall, uh, slender guy. He was the tallest. Uh, he looked like a gatekeeper character. He was He scary. did. <laughs> he was that dude, walked up, guy, that dude walked up to me and I said, I'm picking for the villain. Then he walked in, the fence loaded. You know, it, it, it was good. I'm like, I'm like, don't be playing. Next year, right? Rocky Horror Picture Show. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And all the truckers, yeah. right? I mean, they were just. Full. The tables were, were absolutely full. There was not one floor space I could see. I none. think it just goes back to, like I said, you know, it, this, it does not take away anything from previous events whatsoever. No, That's right. But this was, is hands down, probably the, one of the best trunk retreats we've had. And Most I think it's going to be an awesome 
I think it's kind of the start to a, to an awesome trend you guys are fixing to see in the community. Yeah, we were because yes. we need to explain that because this was a city event. It was That's a city right. hosted city event. hosted event. Yes. Which yeah. made, it makes the biggest difference in the world. Yes. when it's a city hosted event. Exactly, because, because especially when get, everybody in the city gets on board and everybody's right. going right. in the same direction. It's just like right. what we always talk about. You get a rope out there and you get everybody on it. We could pull. We could pull Great and Britain over here and the, get it closer. These old folks had to change gears. That's right. right. They, they want to talk about us, but we didn't. We didn't. We weren't the guys legging this thing out. That's right. We, we showed were, up. There. I showed up five fifteen, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. These guys well, we were, were worried about you, Jeff, because we're like, he said two o'clock. Where yeah. is he? Well, so <laughs> things we were, run together. We're like, yeah. no, we got to set a spot for him. But what was really cool is that you know, Tractor Supply and those guys. They all. Oh my gosh. Um, people who donated the the uh, the pallets. The yeah. hay bales. Kathy Martinez over the fire made the two caskets that you saw on in the graveyard. Right. I mean, these guys. This was teamwork. This isn't one person. This right. isn't an I thing. It's That's not right. a me thing. It's yeah. a we thing. It's a we thing. It was a big us. Yeah. So I want a big shout out to all these folks who absolutely helped us out. This was a big deal. Yeah, a big yeah. deal. And I, I just That's why we wanted me. you on. We wanted Thank to bring you, you on so much for and, and, and allow you the. The, the platform to go to give out the the thanks and everything yes. because again it was a great event you know and we were glad to be part of it and I think it just goes to show you what positivity and a little bit of teamwork can get right. you in this environment. Good partnerships and relationships. Yeah, I, I was mean. just driving by and heard you guys on the radio thought yeah. I'd stop by and, nice. and tell you what a phenomenal job. Tommy here. Turney walked Thank in you. here guys. City manager. Manager, guys. He walked in with a little aggressiveness. I was <laughs> <laughs> And you're walking up behind me, and I'm like, hey, hold on, wait a minute. I wasn't sure what he was bringing to us. You about to see some stuff you never heard on radio before. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. And that's part of it, too. When you get a lot of energy and momentum, it is fun. I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. Ballinger Chamber is exhausted. But you know what? We loved every minute of it. And there's more to come. So we just want you guys to get geared up. I just up don't want to be this. I know we've, we've been harping on it for two days now, honestly. But it, it, the reality of the situation is this. It's been a while. For, it has been a while. A, for such a, a phenomenal situation like that to happen. And everybody to have so much fun. And I think yeah. I said, yeah. hey, little this. kids was hollering and screaming. Oh, they were. And and Even the parents. And, some of the kids weren't as scared as the parents were scared. Yeah. I was like, I don't think I want to go. And the kids like, no, we're going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. I made like a three-year-old cry. So I, you know, I had to, I, 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 need, no. I need to repent, repent on that one. But yeah, it was my bad. Well, okay. She got hands in grabbed my candy. She grabbed your hands. Like, Can you? What a nice Is that one. hands or your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the props. <laughs> Just a real. Yeah. No, it, it's it, it was it was an awesome time. So the kids had a great time. Right. I, I, I'm not even sure. I'm surprised my kids made it back. You know, I looked up, they're gone. Looked up again like three hours later, they're like, oh, there you are. <laughs> You're right now. You know. Right. It but, was yeah. very difficult. I mean, it was. It was organized chaos, and I loved every minute of That's it. Right. And uh, right. just like I said, hats off to everybody who had a hand in it. You bet. You Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much for it. the city to supply and supply a venue that we could get in out of the rain. That was fantastic. And, and yes, it's it's awesome when you know this is Reynolds County, and we if if everybody in Reynolds County gets together, right, we don't have a good time. Absolutely. And, and, and ain't nothing going to stop that. Right. Well, and yeah. I've said this from the very beginning that Reynolds County may be small, but we have a big heart. And because we're small, there is no room for arguing and backbiting or any of those. We need to come together That's as right. a family. That's right. And w when we said this last time, right, community come unity. There's a unity in that word. And if we don't start using it, we're going to lose it. That's right. So this, we hope this was the first step forward this uh, fired for the up. chamber, for the city, for you all, and everybody. This is all about all of us. Well, we need to show the change. Yes, the change. Yeah, exactly. and, and I think that, what is it? That's always like the most famous saying, or one of the be the change. Be yeah, the change. Be the change. Right. Be the change. So in order right. for us to hear all day long, and yeah, we got to do this. Gotta, right. We actually have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Absolutely. So, but no, uh, phenomenal event. You should be very proud of yourselves. The Boucher Area Chamber of Commerce, Tammy Burton, and those folks, you need to be very proud of yourselves. You did a wonderful job. And really, thanks for the city yeah. for them coming out to the event. We're glad yeah. they heard us. Mm -hmm. we're, we're glad that I was a little concerned that when the rain happened, that, you know, maybe they didn't hear the venue change right away. That didn't even take the edge off. No, well, 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 I'll tell you what, flooded. we just added to it. Really. Well, I mean, honestly, so. we yes. shared the update. The, the sheriff's department shared the update. It was also a, a web of sharing on Facebook because right. everywhere I looked, it was updated, 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 updated. updated. I mean, we're right. hitting 3,500 people. That
They're hitting how many people? They're hitting how many people? You know, we have seven listeners. That's right. I mean, we're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're up to ten. We're up to ten, ten, ten listeners. Ten. That's it. Well, and it's a good thing you're not on TV. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. That's I mean, we we're not going to do that definition thing. <laughs> yeah. We're talking RFD TV. Yeah. We'll be all right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get out there. You know, that's hang right. out with them. One day. <laughs> yeah. One day when we're all grown up. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you know, again, we can't just say it enough. And I'm sure people are tired of hearing it, but it was just a good thing. Uh, and I, I, I'm glad to be part of it. Listen, and, and Y'all stay tuned for the for the big things that are be coming up. Right. We have a lot of we have, we have been talking. Eric, the, the Chamber of Commerce has been talking. We're trying to get involved. Local businesses have been talking. Yes. We're getting everybody involved. Things are going to start hopefully to tick back to the way that my generation and, and older in that area remember. That's right. You right. know, and we're going to start moving back in that direction. Yeah. We back from the way back when. On I mean, weekends, come on, dude. Very good after playing well, good football. Then we, in this, then we got to have good events here. That's right. right. There you go. That's right. I would be 1987 right. all over again. And, 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 and the girls be dribbling the basketball. Uh, and it's yeah. coming. So, you know, everybody's got sports wound up. This was wound up. If, like I said before, if you ain't got fine, you can't find something to do. And bound you, you ain't looking there. Well, honestly, honest goodness, between uh, August through January, you're not supposed to be able to breathe in Ballinger. That's right. Because right. right. there's so much going so on. So much going on. Before exactly. that, you know. Right. And, but, man, right. I'm really excited, you know. And and, 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 and who knows, maybe uh, there's a rock, Rocktoberfest in the future. A rock but, you know. Rock rock Rocktoberfest. Rocktober. Wow. Isn't that rock catchy? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. All right. I wonder. <laughs> Guys. Before we jump off, we want to hit some news real quick. This is the last day. Speaking of city, this is the last day of early voting. That's right. Get out you there. You got to get it done today. Rock the vote. That's <laughs> right. Get out there, rock the vote. Listen, if you don't exercise your right to vote, you don't get to exercise your right to an opinion. That's right. Yeah. So, I mean, not to us anyway, but That's get right. out there, vote. Your city council voting is happening. Your student, your student council, your, Jesus, your school <laughs> board. <laughs> Voting is happening. I'm right, not right, sure right. when student council is voting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we don't even <laughs> don't know whether we, they're on the ballot or not. We don't have a play in that one. Yeah, like, you're serious about that 1987. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I went back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a small town girl, Tom. Yeah, you know, living in a lonely world. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's, embrace it's, it. Yeah, embrace, yeah. embrace who you are. That's going down. This is the final day. They'll be up until 5 o'clock. Listen, all the times and the places are on our website at krumaem.com. So get out there, check that out. Uh, November 6th. That's right. They're going to be open 7 to 7 at St. Turner Strong Avenue. Get out there, vote. That is the day. That's Listen, right. I don't care who you lean towards. You got Beto, you got Cruz. That's our big thing right now. Um, I know you should lean towards me. Yeah. So I voted so I can tell you, but I'm, I'm a little, little I think you should just cruise along. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just, cruise, on just cruise on down there. Just cruise on down the road. Just on down the road. Better you won't. But, <laughs> but um, get out there. Do your thing. You, you know, obviously, it, it's your civic duty, and it's the one chance that we really do have to step up and support whatever it is we believe in, and the only way we really can is as a society. Put that pencil right. paper now, folks. Yeah, it's get time. out there. Your voice that, matters. That's that. Listen, right. we've had, and I'm, I'm probably wrong in the numbers, but I do know we've had over a thousand people registered early voting and done, like been early voting. I know when we had the last city council vote, there was. 100, 100, yeah. yeah 100, We've had over a thousand. You can't complain if you're not out there. That's you, right. You gotta say, you gotta have a voice. That's yeah, right. out there, check that out. Also, this weekend, and we don't want to miss this because um, we've been so busy, we, 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 we bumped over it a couple times, but it is a big Saturday. Yes. That's right. For Ballinger with the right. um, annual Hunter's Dinner, Hunter's right. Dinner. Right. Dinner. Right. That's right. Do you know much more about that? Uh, yeah, if you guys get out there, I mean, they, they serve food, they as do. you guys remember. 15 Every bucks a plate, serve, it's brisket, yes. sausage, and all right. the fixings. Right. You know, coleslaw, taters, right. they got all kinds of good stuff. And they give you good helping, so just come hungry. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm taking coleslaw off there because that was another event for next weekend. <laughs> but they do have sausage and brisket, <laughs> there you $15. Go. There you go. I don't even <laughs> walk up and be like, well, Jeff said there's going to be coleslaw. <laughs> you don't think it would happen, but it would. Oh, damn, man. Well, they pin you down, man. I'm yeah. telling you. Listen, that was a great meal the other day at the Texas Hunter Appreciation Dinner, but I'll tell you what, there was no coleslaw. You That's said right. there would be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so $15, it's a sausage and brisket plate. That right. goes back to the Reynolds County 4-H. That's and right. if you've ever had kids in 4-H, if you've ever been around 4-H, you know exactly what that program yeah. does for That's our it. small town um, with these kids and developing these leaders and, and everything. So. Right. That's happening. That's part of it. There's going to be grab bag. Nice yeah, grab, grab bag bags. Trolls. They're going to have vendors out there. They're going to have and, uh, uh, raffles out there. I mean, everything. They're going to have um, uh, not just that. They're going to have uh, just drop.